Good morning, folks. We've got a good deal of deadly weather to discuss. We've got some more solar wind streams on the way, and we take a look at a dangerous cosmic radiation situation getting worse. Let's start with our star over at spaceweathernews.com. We've got the last 24 hours up there with the southern coronal hole turning through, northern opening becoming visible dark top left. This is where we saw the coronal cavity on top of the plasma filament yesterday. We will be watching to see if it collapses or begins to enter the Earth-facing disk today. The solar wind is decreasing intensity and returning to normal levels, allowing all quiet conditions to return to geospace and Earth's magnetic field. We do expect another stream as early as tomorrow from the departing southern coronal holes. Another uptick in the solar wind is expected within 48 hours. Up next, it hurts to see such a bad storm coming. Watch it unfold on radar and then read about everyone who wasn't able to get out of the way. From tornadoes to flash flooding to lightning storms and hail, bad weather lashed the south and the midwest, including a large landslide in Pittsburgh. We got a few steep faces around Mount Washington and the Duquesne area, and this dirt wanted to see what all the fuss was about down below. Amazing phenomenon seen over Hawaii. Light pillars come often in Canada and Russia, but it is ultra rare to see them this far south due to the required super cold temps in the atmosphere reflecting the light off ice. Speaking of ice, holy moly, look at what happened in Saudi Arabia. A freak hailstorm tore through windows and windshields, not to mention a few other things that would cause any human with feelings to feel a couple of them. Not expected, normal, or forecasted to take place. Top story today is not flashy or colorful, it's just concerning. We should all readily recall the loss of three shields against space energy. Earth's field is weakening, so is the sun's, and we're exiting a shrouding dust cloud of the galaxy. Now all studies have expected radiation levels to be going up, but here they find that not only are those radiation levels already 2% higher than expected at this stage of increase, but they saw the sun's proton events are becoming more relevant as well, which puts the focus on Earth's magnetic field above both the others. If you haven't seen our magnetic reversal series, it is linked for you below, along with today's top story. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close. We greatly appreciate your support, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 5 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.